Welcome to another exciting edition of Concert Countdown's Week in Review. We've got a jam-packed lineup of music and entertainment news that you won't want to miss, so sit back, relax, and let's dive into this week's highlights. Starting off this week, let's recap the latest tour announcements. First on the list, Sick New World has announced their festival lineup for 2024. The festival will feature bands like System of a Down, Slipknot, Alice in Chains, A Perfect Circle, and many more. Sick New World will be rocking out in Las Vegas on April 27th. And Tool has some exciting news for the Tool Army. They've announced their 2024 U.S. Arena Tour. Get ready for an epic journey, including their return to Madison Square Garden for the first time since 2001. Post-Hardcore Legends Thursday are celebrating the 20th anniversary of their album War All The Time with a U.S. tour in 2024. They'll be hitting cities from coast to coast, so be sure to catch them live in action. And speaking of tours, Zach Bryan has added an additional 19 tour dates to his Quentin Time Tour. Don't miss your chance to see this rising country star in action. And from tours to tickets, the Federal Trade Commission is taking action to ban hidden fees from concert tickets. Remember how Pearl Jam took a stand against Ticketmaster back in the 90s? Well, now with the recent tickets on sale debacle from Taylor Swift's Eras Tour, Congress is now taking action. The BET Hip Hop Awards were held this past Tuesday night, and Kendrick Lamar was the king of the night. He won four awards, including Hip Hop Artist of the Year and Best Live Performer. Nicki Minaj is promising an unforgettable experience with a tour like none other for her Pink Friday 2 tour. We'll keep you updated as soon as we hear more details. And Usher is back climbing the Billboard charts with his latest single, Good Good. It's great to see him back making a triumphant return with his first charted single in over a decade. Pink Floyd is celebrating the 50th anniversary of their iconic album The Dark Side of the Moon with a stunning remaster in various formats. This will be a must have for any Pink Floyd fan. And finally, we bid farewell to a music icon. Rudolph Isley of the Isley Brothers passed away this last Wednesday at the age of 84. He leaves behind a legacy of incredible music that will continue to inspire generations to come. And that's a wrap for Concert Countdown's Week in Review. Subscribe now and stay tuned in for more music news and updates. Because in the world of music, every week is a new adventure. So be sure to stay tuned for more details and ticket information. It's going to be an incredible year for live entertainment. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and thanks for joining us. Rock on, and we'll see you next week.